Hey guys, it's me, Santa Eden. I'm gonna do a uh, commentary uh, on a full Evolve Evacuation game mode. Um, if you don't know how this game mode works, just a gist is that there's a regular Evolve skirmish mode, which is just hunt mode, I'm pretty sure. And then evacuation mode has like nest, rescue, defend is the final one. But you choose between like Batman, really. I'm doing something here. That's my pet bird, he's annoying. I think he thinks I'm talking to people and he gets jealous. Anyway, so yeah, you play five different game modes. You vote on two different options that you can choose to vote on. You play Nest in this map or you can play Hunt in this map. But it always starts out as Hunt. So as you can see, I'm still playing the Assault, but I do play as Val, the Medic, later on. Um, I don't really enjoy the Hunt mode. I mean, I think most reviews said the same thing, that it's like a really slow game mode because it's just trying to find and catch the monster which is not really that fun but the game's much better like when you have the power relay but I feel like defend mode is better or at least nest mode because nest mode is the monster has to decide on um, what to do and um yeah I was wondering what the hell was going on for a second but yeah I joined this game mode late and uh, I'm playing as Markov as the assault uh, I like his arc mines a little too much but um usually uh, I I mean I would have probably used high just to level him up but I use Markov this time because as you saw I was taking over for a bot. I was taking over for a bot then, so <clears throat> I had to be the Markov. I wonder if it would change randomly. I don't really know much. This is something new that I learned is that Daisy can revive. Um, so yeah, as you can see, when it's, you're fighting a monster, the main thing you want to do is that you want to make sure... I believe this monster at stage 2 because later on we'll get to stage 3. And we have to defend the power relay. But one thing you want to do when you're fighting the monster is you want to is you wanna be close to each other but not too close if you get too close then the monster can kill you all you wanna be like in a you wanna have not too you wanna be a little far apart but not too far apart I know it sounds weird but but yeah you wanna make sure that the monster is like a, like if the monster is fighting people and then he wants to kill someone else he has to go to the other side so you can either decide to perma kill a person and take down all the health or you can decide to um chase to go and chase you I mean so that he can like you so that someone can go sneak off and revive which as you can see kind of happened just there is where the monster was attacking well this is an AI monster but I had this happen in a game with human is that you know you have to fight as one monster you, you got to I mean you got to kill all the hunters I mean you know you got to kill the hunters but yeah, as you can see I'm trying to chase the monster we're chasing the monster right now and I keep forgetting that Markov's a lightning gun can't reach that far I do enjoy it it has, it's more distance than the flamethrower, safer, and it chains also, so especially during, like, defend, which you'll see later, yeah, it's very helpful in defend. But yeah, just, this is just a chasing thing, the best thing you can really do is see where the monsters, you know, when the birds run, or see where there's, like, broken trees and foliage and whatnot, and just follow the tracks, it's not really, I mean, I haven't played too much, but from my honest opinion, there's not really much to to do besides I don't know you could just you I mean you can chase the monster but he has like a faster running speed so unless he fudges up a lot or he starts crawling a lot at uh, somewhat not super difficult but it's somewhat difficult to catch him I would hear you know the monster yes, yes I think he got to like a dead end or something so he fudged himself and you see he, he can run pretty decently away maybe, maybe we sucked but he, he had he was running away pretty well and, um, yeah, that, that's really it when it comes to hunt modes. I don't really like this mode. I prefer the other modes because they have, like, the feel of the hunt mode, but there's something else going on, like a nest mode. You'll see is a person has to defend against the... <clears throat> person has to defend... I mean, the monster has to defend the eggs or can hatch egg to make a minion, but then an egg is destroyed, so, you know, if they hatch, like... I'm not, I've never been the monster, so I don't know how they hatch the eggs, but if they hatch, like, the wrong egg you know, in a place, then they can, then the other people can, like, lure the minion to where the other eggs are and destroy it. Yeah. This, I don't, you know, I, I just really don't like this game mode. I really don't. It's okay, I mean, I'll play it, but, you know, I don't, I don't really enjoy it that much. Except when it gets to this part. And this is why I use Markov and Defend. And I guess maybe I should use him in Hunt mode, too, just because it, when, if it gets to the power relays, you know, if I were to die or something, or the monster decides to attack the power relays first, you put them all around. Or even if you know where the monster's coming, like, uh, 
where it says the monster is scaring away the bird, or the monster scared away the birds, you can put all of those nice little um, b uh, arc mines. And one, my one problem with Markov is that I don't use the assault rifle enough. I rely too much on the lightning gun. I mean, if I'm a good distance away, the lightning gun's better, but sometimes I forget to switch to the assault rifle when I should. Especially if the monster's not close, I'll stick with the lightning gun out, and it's better for me to switch from the assault rifle to the lightning gun than to just stick with the lightning gun and not do any damage. Because I've had a game where the monster, I've had it one time, I believe it was a defend mode or hunt, where the monster was just like one hit away from dying, or just a little bit away from dying, and I tried to chase him, and I couldn't catch him, and if maybe, you know, if I'd used my assault rifle more in that game, instead of relying on my lightning gun too much, I could have killed him. So as you can see, like, you know, the monsters... Scare away the birds if I hadn't put all my lightning mo arc mines, which you can put up to five down, but if you place another one down, then I guess your earliest one gets removed. So, you know, I could put some down the path, but I don't because I like them around my power relay. And there was just some texture popping there. That's that's why I looked there again because I saw the texture popping. Okay, look, Batman. I'm not talking to, I'm just talking to the microphone. Okay, you know, I understand I talk to the people on Skype and whatnot, so I guess you could be confused. I'll forgive you. Here, kiss my finger. That's a good birdie. Sorry for the piercing noise. I I'm used to it. I other people aren't. It sounds like a smoke alarm. But yeah, all you can really do right here is just wait and... Oh, here's a monster coming. Those little dots, in case you're wondering, are if you click R3, you can, like, sort of put a point of interest. And one thing you need to involve is that you really need... Well, you don't really need communication, but it helps so much more. Now, um, I don't communicate because I'm a hypocrite, I guess. See, like, right now, I switched to the lightning gun because he's much closer. Before I had the assault rifle, because, you know, every bullet counts. And I'm also, try I'm, what was, I'm also, well, earlier I was trying to lure him, but I saw the other guy was there, so I was moving. And you see, uh, my lightning gun's all out, so I switched to the assault rifle. And I don't know, apparently compared to everybody else in the world, whenever, like, the how well you do damage-wise, I use, I haven't used hide that much of this toxic in it, but I use my, uh, I use my grenades a lot, mines and grenades a lot more than other people. As you can see, I made some mistakes here. I could have definitely done assault rifle more in that area. As you saw, like, a few seconds ago, I could have definitely used the assault rifle there. I didn't know Daisy was considered second person until she revived me. But yeah, I kind of I'm putting. I guess maybe here I got a little confused that I was mock that I was like hiding. I could throw a toxic grenade. As, um, well, that's what I would do sometimes. I'll throw a toxic grenade if the monster's attacking somebody to get them away. But yeah, right now I'm just a. Uh, I'm. So, uh, it's a. Uh, I'm. I have the sound muted, so it's kind of weird for me to. I'm just trying to imagine the sound. And that's another thing about the game that I've noticed is that the sound is kind of. I don't know if maybe I have to fix my sound setting because I have a home theater-ish ish system, but the sound settings are all messed up in my system, and I, I don't know why, like, uh, the dialogue is very low, and it comes out in the video, and it's only this game, because the other game, the audio is fine, the dialogue is loud, and the sound effects are loud, not too loud, but I feel like an Evolved do not mix well. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to check my settings, or, you know, maybe if someone wants to go ahead and post a setting, that'd be great. No, right now is I don't understand why no one is helping me. I, I feel like someone could grab me. Oh, there's Daisy. Oh, reliable Daisy. But yeah, I feel like someone could have grabbed me. You always gotta remember to pop that shield. See, lightning has got a good, got a pretty good distance away. Now this time, I at this point, I thought I was the only one left, so I was hiding because I saw if I wait 30 seconds, if I'm the only one left, but as you can see, there's another guy, which I just noticed, and that's why I'm going to revive Daisy. If I had, you know, if I'm the only guy, then if I just wait like 30 seconds then, or now 18 seconds, I can get two people. So that way if I die, then those two people can continue on. That was my plan. As you see, that guy died, so I guess I was smart and letting him be the fall guy. And, you know, right now putting some mines down, because the monster's going to have to come here. Oh, that's, that's scary. Oh, shit. But that was, a, that was some good arc mines there. Monster landing on me, I wasn't paying attention, got them all. And I like how there are birds there, like, yes, thank you, game. I really know where the monster is when he's throwing fucking rocks, fucking rocks at me. Yeah, I lost my shield now, so, uh, 
and I also use my lightning gun up. I mean, if you're close, it's always better to use a lightning gun. You will always do more damage with a lightning gun. This way, I think this was kind of a mistake on my part when I took out that arc mine. I should have definitely won two lightning gun and then started to deal damage. Yeah, I was just uh, watching different people. I should try playing as the monster, but uh... Well, one time I ended up playing a game as a monster and I don't have the Wraith unlocked, but the game let me play as the Wraith. And that was weird. In a good way. In a good way. It was weird. I don't know if the Wraith was overpowered or what. I didn't really know how to use the Wraith abilities, but it was cool and... I don't know why, but the power relay wasn't just taking damage in the beginning or whatever. It was really weird. I believe that's a medic. That's, I think maybe that's the last medic unlock because she doesn't look like that. But I could just be crazy. I'm looking at it at a tinier screen. But yeah. So, see, this is the thing where you want to be far apart but not too far apart because the monster's only chasing this person because they're like in the clear basically. And that guy, I thought he was AFKing for a second, but he was not. Support person can heal? I mean, trap person? No. That's support. Yeah, medic is not support. But as you can see, we're really close to killing a monster. See how you kind of have it where it's chasing that one person, but you can attack, but you know, you don't want your uh, medic to be the person attacked. That's just stupid. You lose your medic, you lose like that medic gun, which is a very nice. That orbital strike is very nice too. Now, um, over here, this, I believe this support guy, he made a mistake. See, I, if it was me, I would have waited it out because, you know, now he decides to go attack and he's not going to get away because this guy's just going to chase him because he realizes if I can kill him in 20 seconds, I win. This guy should have went and he should have, <clears throat> he should have hid like I did. You know, okay, I'm alone. He wasn't alone, but, you know, he still should have hid. So you see, I think the wildlife killed him. In that scene, or maybe it was different. But, it look like him. but yeah, in my opinion, if he had hid, then if I could communicate, maybe I could have said you could hide, and he'd have a better chance of living, and we could have won because if it was just like 20 more seconds, and then we could respawn, and he'd be dead. But yeah, as you can see, this is just a cutscene that plays afterwards. If the monster wins, something bad happens, and then it helps the monster in the next game, and if something good happens, and if the hunters win, then something happens so that the hunters get something good, like in this one. The wildlife give extra, their dead plants, and they give extra energy to the monster so he can level up faster and become stronger faster. And, um, there's like a little cutscene after each one. And I want to say something else, but I can't remember. But yeah, now this is just the second game mode going on now. It's, uh, Rescue, which I haven't really played much of, and I, I didn't really do well in this one. Uh, I, I, I was getting knocked about a lot and I wasn't able to put my uh, toxic grenades down where I wanted to as you'll see so it really didn't end up well but yeah there's a cutscene now it happens every time there's always like a cutscene thing which wouldn't be so bad but I uh, I miss Killzone's up 3 operation mode that had some good cutscenes but I do like the banter in between it gives the characters character and I think that's a pun maybe anyways but you know it gives a little backstory to the game when it doesn't have any story besides there's a planet people are evacuating or there's just random monstery things that have come yeah. another thing i don't really like about the game is it's very slow when you're um when you're going when you get out of the dropship it takes forever to get out like it just feels long i mean i don't know just for like i don't know if it's for balance purposes or whatever but it just feels too long like you'll you it's like feels like a ah, forever to get out of the dropship. Not this time when you like revive and you're getting out of that dropship. Um, I believe this Lazarus guy he has he can revive people when they're like dead, dead and they're waiting for the dropship. But in return he has a horrible medic gun. It's not as long range as like the Val's and Val's works really far as you'll see later on. Is this, I believe this person is a wraith. And, you know, I don't have a lot of experiences from Goliath. So I feel like, you know, when I feel like, I guess, really the best thing. I guess it's almost like a catch-22. If you can be the other creatures, you'll probably do better just because people have less experience with them because you have to unlock them. But if you are... But if you, um... Excuse me. 
I, God damn plants. I hate these things. I don't know if I can see. I don't know if you can see them. Or is that me can see them or what? Yeah, this part was just ridiculous to me. But yeah, I don't know if you can see them or whatnot. Or whatever, but just sometimes it just grabbed me out of nowhere. And I don't know. I, no, I believe I didn't record that one because I was in Pumpkin Recorder. But there was a game mode where I kept getting caught by the stupid, 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 stupid thing. Very stupid in conclusion. Kept getting caught by random plants. And as we, I have also learned, is that you can only pick up one buff at a time. You know, I was saying something earlier. I just lost my train of thought. Was it a medic thing? Metagun? Oh yeah, I remember now. It was about the, you know, the catch-22 with monsters that, you know, you do better with other monsters because there's so much experience with Goliath from Alpha, Beta, current game because it's only monster you can unlock at first and you got to unlock the other monsters like you got to unlock the hunters by using the other monsters so it's like you know the whole catch on the two where you can only be better with a monster as you level up where you i mean you know do what you would do better with like kraken or raids just because less people experience but to get there you have to use goliath so i guess the best thing really is to kind of unlock those as soon as possible which means you know i should do it i really should so anyways let's get back to the uh game mode instead of talking. As soon as I feel soft while talking, that seems kind of pretentious. And carnivorous plants. God, I love them. Anyway, so, you know, the main point of this game mode is you gotta rescue five people. The uh, game will tell you where they are. You gotta <clears throat> you gotta revive them like you would a dead ally. Then they can come and help and they have, like, a little HP. They got their guns. And, uh, you gotta wait. You gotta get them to the vac. You gotta wait for the dropship to income. After a few seconds, and then you gotta wait for the evacuation. And, I mean, and then after the dropship comes, you go to the location, and then they can be evacuated, and the monster has to try to kill them. Um, that's why earlier you saw me. Oh. Sorry, I, I had a, <clears throat> I had a bad thought. And he's using my favorite toxic grenade, trying to keep him away from the uh, survivor, the wraith. And then I'm going in as the assault with uh, my shield and my flamethrower. I don't think I like hide as much as um. As Markov, I remember reading somewhere where people were saying that the the second assault class, I mean like the the first base classes are like the sucky version of the other classes, but I don't really feel that way. I I find that I like uh you can see I'm throwing the toxic grenade here to make sure that uh the wraith will kind of leave him alone, and if he stays in this area with my flamethrower, I will hurt him. I you see I took a lot of damage. I mean I didn't take a lot of damage. I'm a king. Uh, he took very he took a lot of damage. Damn it. Throwing my toxic grenade again. I don't. I'm pretty sure they don't damage hide, but I know they slow him down, and I'm pretty sure they don't damage other hunters. Or there would be a big warning when using them the first time, but there isn't. So I can continue on using them. As you can see, I'm kind of looking. Uh, I you know, I didn't realize that when you're trapped, when you use the trap dome, you're also trapped. Which I mean, I guess it makes sense. It would be kind of unfair. You could just run and hide where the monster is, but. So, uh, it's something you gotta think about when you're in evacuation mode. It's cause, you know, I guess maybe that wasn't really good placement of it. I mean, I guess we could have killed the monster. And I don't know if that ends the game mode or we win or we would have to still rescue them and go through all of that. Probably would auto win. <clears throat> but as you can see, I know the race is attacking, so here I am throwing the toxic grenade again. No oh, fucking carnivorous plants. Oh, I'm great. So I don't get stuck by the carnivorous plant. I get the wraith cubby get attacking me. That's great. I'm not sure what stage is Wraith is in. I believe it's stage 2. I hope it's stage 2. Stage 1, I guess we all suck. But yeah, that Wraith is almost dead. Um, not a lot of experience with the Wraith. I mean, that mean guy must play as a monster a lot. He's able to choose the Wraith. And I, I don't know, I have a problem with, like I said earlier, with the assault classes where I use the main damaging weapon a lot more. But I think I was doing a pretty good job. And yeah, this is where it gets um really weird. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a glitch. Uh, maybe it's some sort of wraith attack, but I am I am not sure what was going on. I was just stuck here. I could shoot and everything, but I was taking damage. I guess the wraith has a decoy and it sucks you in something, and somebody's got to kill the decoy or something. I'm not really sure. I got to look it up. And then I was in, like, a, this spectating mode that was glitched. It was just looking over. If you saw, like, in the top corner, there was that where the guy actually was. So, yeah, we didn't really good, do really good in this game mode. I'm pretty sure I was the bestest because I have an ego. Sorry, my bird was dancing distracting me. And this is just the cutscene of what happens 
monster gets another bonus. And I don't know if I've said this in this time, but I just want you to know is that you don't have to be the same hunter or you don't have to be the monster each time. That was one of the reasons why I didn't want to play evacuation mode because I thought that if you were the monster, you'd have to be the monster the whole entire time, which is not very fun. One thing I've noticed in a, a vacuum, uh, but yeah, I didn't want to be the monster the whole entire time, especially if you're sucky at it, but you can switch it up and change. And this is the next mode. <clears throat> it's, uh, I mean, this is the, not the next mode. This is the next map that we had voted on, and it was Nest on some place. Aviary, I assume. I don't remember. I don't know these maps. There's green map, ball on sheer. I'll just let you listen to the banter. Ready. Daisy's home. Okay, now that you enjoyed the wonderful banter, um What I probably won't do the full evacuation match as much anymore of a commentary. Not because of like time or anything, but just that I think uh, it's too long. I think it's better if I break it up into parts and I could upload it and like, you know, say this is the next part of, you know, like in the video, I could say it's the next part. But just because it's like a 30, 40 minute dedication, uh, I've seen apparently some games go longer that I've joined late in. But this one's actually in from the beginning and I believe the total is only like, is like 40, 50 minutes. But that's only because of some of a... Excuse me, I had a burp, that, but that's only because of some of the. Damn, what's the word? Because of some of the. Oh yeah, because of like, god damn it, because of like the cutscenes and the loading times and the choosing new maps. And that's one thing that the game needs to speed up on is like, uh, is the cutscene. I mean, not the cutscenes; they're fine or whatever. It's like uh, the loading times. And another thing is, I've noticed is I don't know, maybe it's launch or whatever. So people get unlucky with connecting but I haven't had any really bad time connecting but um I've noticed that at launch the uh god I'm sorry I'm not acid reflux with burping or it's gas coming out you don't really hear it anyway you guys don't hear it but yeah I've noticed that at launch is that the monster I mean I'm sorry is that people, it's not that people don't play as the monster but I've noticed that the monster will has been empty except in this case the crap roll that seems to be open crap -a yeah. But I've noticed that the uh, monster is that uh, the game sometimes, like I've joined games and you would think it would wait to find a fifth person. I guess because maybe sometimes why it takes long is because it's waiting to find a fifth person. I don't really know why sometimes it takes so long the loading. And those, this game, I had noticed, and in some other games, that people didn't spawn as like a thing, as a, a, not as a creature, but they didn't spawn as like a thing. But they didn't spawn as like a class or whatever. And yeah, this is the nest. This is like what the I don't know how many. I believe I've seen in game modes where the oh, Batman. While I'm talking, you be quiet. But yeah, I've noticed in the uh, is that I've noticed that you can hunt more. You can hatch more than one egg. But you know the problem is, like I said earlier, if you hatch it in the wrong place, if you hatch it in the wrong place, then you're kind of screwed because then if it's in the other direction of where they are and they kill the egg before you fully hatch it. <clears throat> then that's it, you're done. I mean, you know, you just let them, the, mon the minions eventually gonna come, or we're gonna find it, and then we'll be destroyed easily, as you saw. But one thing that's kind of disappointing is, as you saw, is that this guy is a wraith, and the minions are still Goliaths. Even with the Kraken monster, the minions are still. Oh, I guess this guy's a Goliath, that's my bad. But even. Uh, it's my I'm thinking of uh, another time, but. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of in defend mode. Uh, I was playing once, and the Kraken was the monster. And uh, and the minions are still Goliath, so this is kind of disappointing how they're all, all the minions are the same. I guess it would add a little more strategy to defend mode if somebody chose a Kraken and it ended up being a Kraken. Kraken minions instead of just Goliath minions all the time. It seemed kind of lazy, in my opinion. I mean, it would add a lot more variety, or maybe the monster could even choose his minions. Batman! Let a man do a commentary in peace! We'll pay, play later! But yeah, th this, when I was playing right now, um, I was really not, I don't know, I was throwing my toxic grenades all badly. If I had thrown them, but right now I'm trying to get his attention off of Daisy so somebody could revive him. 
Usually for your monster, you kind of want to quickly kill them. Yeah, this is just another bad toxic grenade throw. If I had thrown it well, I think I could have done a lot more. I, mean, I could have done some decent damage to the monster, and I could have not protected Daisy, but I could have, uh, I could have helped it along. Who knows what would have happened. But uh, this was just a really bad game on my part, because I kept making mistakes of letting the monster jump and attack me. And, you know, using and throwing grenades at the wrong time. Yeah, so this wasn't a good game mode for me. I kept, I mean, you know, as you can see, this is a, this is more of what not to do, is to not throw grenades, as toxic grenades as badly as I did. Because if you throw a toxic grenade well, it can be helpful. The mon, you know, it's kind of like maybe the monster will move out because he doesn't want to get damaged too much by the toxic grenade and everybody focusing in on him with the toxic grenade. But, or the monster would actually run away and you're able to go, you're able to go and uh. Go revive. You'll be able to go revive someone like I could with Daisy. And this is part is where I just was a trapper. Um, I noticed like when the first time I played as Val, the medic, it showed me how to use each thing. So I was quickly trying to switch to each weapon. And as you can see, I got stuck by a plant, and I just skipped around in the gameplay, so you didn't have to be bored with that. But I was just trying to be the trapper there for a little bit. And um, you know, I was just trying to figure out what all the buttons were, and I was hoping it would give me a little tip. But it really doesn't unless you choose it at the beginning of the match, which I find kind of dumb. It should be, if the game knows it's your first time, even if you do it mid-match just to be helpful like I was, it should still show that, oh, this is the trapper doing trapper. Th this is a, this guy's new to the trapper, so when he switches to the weapon, you should tell him what he's doing. Now this, this buff that's going to come up for the monster side is so freaking annoying. All the, basically, you'll see is that all the wildlife get like super powered up, well I don't think they get super, they get powered up I believe a little but they get very aggressive and they always attack, it's not like before with certain monsters will attack you like you saw the little little weird bat thingies, the little cloverfield monsters I guess that are on the two legs this is a hunt mode and this is one of the times I played as Val as you'll see and I get into that but the one thing that kind of pissed me off I'm just trying to listen to the dialogue to see how it sounds. It doesn't sound as good as it could be like other games. And I kind of ruined it with my talking. Smart. Very smart. I'll let you listen to the dialogue. But if we get out of here, I'd sort of like to follow this through. See where these monsters came from. You notice how everyone's talking like we won't make it out of here? Yeah. Yeah. I do. You think we'll make it? I think two things. I think most of us will make it out of here. Most of us? And I think whatever happens, it will not be straightforward. Yeah, I don't I don't get that last part. Out of here oh, be never like mind. Everything else so I'm an far. idiot. Shouldn't have spoke before. Sounds the lady finished speaking. But yeah, this is more hunt. I do not really enjoy hunt. Um I'm just gonna show you why I hate this uh this buff for the monster side just makes all the monsters really annoying and when you're like a medic it's very difficult because you can't really do much except shoot with the armor piercing sniper rifle although i do enjoy one thing in the game where you can shoot where you don't have to it's more about the tactics and less about like resource management in the sense that oh you didn't reload your sniper rifle so you can't do damage to the monster so the reloads in the back there was a tip there's a tip that even says but you can see the monsters look different and they're all always attacking you I don't know what was wrong with this team, if they were just stupid or what. Or we were just doing really bad, but yeah. I don't... I don't really enjoy uh, the hunt mode as much. I enjoy like the other modes a lot better. And you see more freaking aggressive monster stuff. But yeah, I don't really enjoy the hunt mode as much. But I guess one thing that's important... that The one thing that's important that I learned in this is that... Um, when If you are doing the hunt mode... And you know the maps, you can figure out where the power relay is because I remember in this game mode, I accidentally, as you can see, I'm trying to kill this monster. The the medic can shoot the sniper rifle, can shoot those, make those target hits, and can also hit them. But I guess the negative of the negative of the medic hitting those weak points is that instead of creating more weak points for your team, you're doing extra damage. So I think it's better if the medic just causes a bunch of weak points to appear on the monster instead of just thinking. Instead of hitting those weak points to do extra damage, because you're not really a damage dealer. You're more of sort of helping and you know, the team heal and do more damage in general. But yeah, like I was saying, is that one thing that uh, 
Is that one thing I learned is that when I was walking through this map, is that you can find the weak points. I'm sorry, not the weak points. You can find like the power relays early on. And I thought for a second that the monster had evolved already, but he hadn't. But just when you're uh, like another, uh, if you're the monster, you can decide. You can like plan your route somewhat better and say, okay. So when I'm at stage two or almost near stage three, I'll start to move this way towards a power relay, so I can go and attack it immediately, or maybe even get a head start on the hunters if they don't know where I am. So that's just like the one thing that this hunt mode taught me, because you know I'll play as a monster once, and the first mode is always hunt, and if you get into a map and you know it, then you'll be able to do that. So you know I'm just gonna skip this hunt part just because it's I'm not really interested in it. I mean, just some tips as the medic is you wanna make sure you are not a little, you will have a good distance away from the monster. You want to make sure you hit the monster with the tranquilizer darts because it makes them slower, less likely to escape, and all that fun. And um, when you, you know, you want to make sure you use your sniper rifle. You want to make sure you use your heal blast. You want to get near everybody and heal yourself and them. And your medic gun, don't forget that it can work from a big long distance. But the negative is that the monster can see where the medic gun is coming from. So you want to stay somewhat far back so the monster doesn't get to you. And it's more nervous about the guys who are dealing a crap ton of damage. And, um... So yeah, and like I said with the armor-piercing sniper rifle rounds, you want to make sure you just, after you trank the monster, because you get three trank darts, so I just shoot them all really quick. Switch to my sniper rifle because that will visit the power relay, like I said, fun early. Switch to my sniper rifle and do some damage. I mean, make do some damage and make those holes. And after you're done with making a good amount of the little dots where they can hit for extra damage, go back to your Trink Dart and make sure it's Trinkalized. And um, that's it really, so I'm just going to go and let it skip to the next section because I find Hunt Mode to be boring from the Hunter side. Maybe as a Monster side it's a lot scarier, but on the Hunter side to me it feels like just playing a very boring game of Hide and Go Seek. You know what's the funny thing about um, this whole skipping thing is that... The one where we actually defeat the monster and I decide to skip it. Because I don't like hunt mode. That is why I skipped it. I also died, I will not lie, but I died to protecting my team. I'm, this is just, instead of the mo I'm basically in defend mode, instead of the monsters having, uh, the monsters minions having higher defense, now the monsters minions have lower defense. I mean, they have the, they have, well, they have a, the regular amount of defense. Instead of having armor, the minions, but we have better turrets, which is nice because I've yet, I mean, I've only played like four or five matches of defend, but I've yet to see a monster actually win defend, so this just makes it easier for me. Now, as you can see, I'm playing the assault again, and I'd like me some Markov because um, I'm pretty sure my arc mine just destroyed that monster. 99% sure my arc mine just destroyed that one minion. Yeah, all of them were gone except for one, as you can see, the little number show. I like to put the arc mines all around. Um, I'm sure eventually you can kind of see where the monsters are and put them on beforehand, but you know, you kind of got only got like 30 seconds, and I'm newish to this game. But yeah. Just putting all of my. Uh, I'm just kind of hiding now, because uh, I know the monster will eventually, be, will eventually be here, and I'll be more worried when the monster comes, not the minions, because the minions, they're not really that dangerous. They spend. Batman! Enough. They spend most. The minions spend most of this. Well, one. Really? Really? <laughs> the minions spend most of much. They look good. The minions, they come, they mostly go right after the generator. You can shoot them, they'll still go after the generator. And then they'll get hit by my arc mines, which do damage, and while I'm doing that, using my lightning gun and chaining on them. So win win for everyone. I can, you know, like, uh, I like using. I like, uh, I see another AI monster. Although I believe a human takes over near the end, but it's over. Right now, see? we we'll walk into the mines. I have my lightning gun. My lightning gun is doing a ton of damage on them. And while one monster is dead, my lightning gun is done with, so I'm just switching to the assault rifle now. Now, that's one thing, I, the one thing that really, well, annoys me the monster death animation is that they don't really die. I mean, you've got to wait sometimes to do like an exploding thing that's really weird. That was my bad back there. I was uh, too close. Now, um, I know my team is focusing on the monster, but, you know, we have time to deal with that. I'd rather get rid of the minion before more of them come because of the power... Speaking a little too fast. Because if the power generator is destroyed, then we're kind of screwed. Because then they'll get some more time and we have to run all the way to the next power <coughs> objective. And by running, I put my shield on there because I thought the monster was going to, uh, my team, I guess just chased the monster. 
But yeah, I was focusing on the minion instead of the monster because I know we have to kill the monster, but I thought it was better to focus on the mon minion, get rid of them, and get rid of him from attacking the generator before we have to go play hide and go seek with the monster. Again, by running all the way to the next point. Especially if he ends up getting more minions, then it's going to be even more to deal with. You can see right now uh, that monsters, are, the minion was a little far away, so I start off with my assault rifle. And now I'm switching to my lightning gun, and I guess I put too much damage to him, so he got aggroed to me. And luckily he walked into an arc mine, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that was my fault, because he got aggroed. Yeah, I, no, none of them got to no, I guess not, I thought I did. But yeah, as you saw, I shot him way too much, and so he got aggroed. So that's why I like to have the arc mines there. Put the arc mines there, he walked into it, and then I can shoot him, you know. Damage being done, and he'll less likely chase me. The nether minion start with the assault rifle. And as you saw earlier, and you'll see now, is that it will is that the assault rifle just filled up. You saw like uh, right under where the assault rifle is, the, the O was like I mean that area was like almost empty, about well, halfway empty, and then it filled up. Now right now I put a couple mines out here because I know the mo I'm pretty well. My I thought the uh, I don't know if there's a way out the other way, but I know the monster's gonna have to climb out that way, and so he's gonna hit one of my mines. And as you can see, my mine took a big chunk out of his head. armor. Right now I'm using the lightning gun as much as I can because I want to make sure I tear through the armor and I get to the HP because a monster can regenerate armor but they cannot regenerate their health. So you can see, we went a little mind crazy here. I, I have this mind problem. Should have been focusing on the gun and that's what I finally decided to do as you can see. So um, I don't know what Parnell is like. I think that's his name of the final hunter. But I think I like Markov more than Hyde and I especially like Markov more for uh, this part, just because of all the arc mines you can place. I guess the better thing is to wait near when you can kind of see the minions coming and then place the arc mines in that direction. So that way the minions will run, so that way you have more sort of stacked up. But the but another thing is that the arc mines, they kind of, if you see, if you see in this video and other videos, you can see that the arc mines kind of stack up in certain areas. Or another thing like this is I could throw the arc mine, I could start throwing arc mines while the <clears throat> while the minion is walking, as you can see, it's walking now, then it ran right to the objective. Then his health got low, so it decided to attack me instead. But you know, that's just, uh, that's just, well, not, nah, that's just an idea of placing the arc mines where it's coming. Because I you know you especially want to place the arc mines where the monster's coming, because nice extra damage. So you can see, I placed a couple here. And you, you get that direct hit bonus and extra damage when you hit where the circle is, or where the medic shoots a sniper round. Uh, right here, I got lost where the monster was. But as you can see, he walked into some of my mines that I put around the generator. And as you can see, a human took over, but he was kind of screwed at this point. He had to win in the next 30... He had to destroy the generator in the next 30 seconds. And he had us to deal with. But yeah, right now, my lightning gun would not reach him. So I switched to my assault rifle, which I should be... Which I need to do more of. And here's my arc mine fetish going all wrong. Fetish is dirty. Arc mine problem going all wrong. I love my arc mines too much. I'm always way higher than the global average. But that lightning gun. And I haven't really used my arm, my shield until just now. Because I really didn't see a point. And a death from above. I'm um, pretty sure you get that when you jump, when you're in the midair. Like you're jumping even. And you kill the monster. And that's how I got that. Just in case people are wondering. It's not a very hard achievement to get. Just you see a monster low in your assault. Jump up. And shoot the monster with your lightning gun especially. It's much smarter to use your lightning gun. You're going to do more damage. So you can see we won. And one thing I think that uh, evacuation modes should fix and is that at the end when you're rewarded, there's just a cutscene. It's always the same. It just shows all the hunters finding out the monsters. Like, I think evacuation modes to take your colonists overall and save them up, and then you get that credit so that people who stayed with it from the beginning, they'll have like two, 3,000 survivors, and they'll get a lot more experience than if I joined at the end and we won that. And, okay, let's say the people did still sucky, like... We kind of did. I think the Hunters won two out of three times, or even one out of four times. You still can get a bunch of uh, survivors. And uh, you can still get a bunch of survivors at the end. You get a ton of experience. And I think it should be, when you do evacuation mode, it should be that you get more money for, I mean, you should get, you should get credit, or you should be enticed to play longer with that mode and play a full game. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this Evolve commentary, and uh... Watch for some more smaller commentaries. Bye.